A very pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all over the world, throughout the international community, throughout the international landscape. Speaking to you all from, my, from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Happy to join you all in this video. Let us not forget, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, it is still early o'clock in the new year. No, yes, it is still early o'clock in the new year, 2023. I know the month of January has gone, and we have entered the second month in the new year, 2023, the month of February. But it is early o'clock. We haven't crossed the six months as yet. So greetings to mankind everywhere, the human family that Jesus Christ and the Father brought into existence for their honor and glory. Greetings to mankind, to the children of men, humanity, the human race, the human family all over the world, in all nations of the earth. I say greetings from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago to all and sundry, my fellow my fellow brothers and sisters all over the world. Well, once again, I was watching a video. Don't try block him in the light. Don't try block him in. Once again, I was watching a video about the atheist experience on YouTube with my dear brother, Matt Dandalalti, and my dear sister, Sharon, or Sharon, or Sharon, or Shannon. And of course, the caller was calling in and asking questions, and the, right? Of course, I will look. I will record a next video concerning this this said video that I watched with Shannon and with Am. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right and Madame Dalalti. But in any case, I just want to say that you know, ladies and gentlemen. You know, in the atheist experience, with in those in the atheist atheist experience community, with Matt Dunnaldalty and Shannon and all of them, Jim Barrow and all the rest, Seth Andrew and Aaron Ra, and all the rest of them, you know, none of them cannot prove that God doesn't exist. You see, we the Christians is proving to them that God exists by the creation and the intelligent design that God exists. And with all the talk they are talking in the atheist experience, Matt Dandaldalti and Jim Barrow and Seth Andrew and Iran they can run away from the from they can run away from the facts that the intelligent design that bring about by the supreme intelligency of God, the Supreme One, the Father, they can't run away from his creation because creation is the proof that God exists. So with all the atheists, it's atheism they, they, that they are pushing and the gospel of atheism that they are pushing, they can't run away from that. And Matt Donald Dalty and Iran and Seth and Jew and all of those and Jim Barrow and all of them in the atheist community None of them cannot prove that God does not exist. A matter of fact, there is no man that born or come in this world, that ever lived or born or come in this world, there is no man that ever born, that means born, live and die, and the generation that continues to live and die, people come in the world and dying, there is no man or woman could prove that God does not exist. You all didn't hear what I said? I said there is no man or man or woman that born and come this world cannot prove that God does not exist. How will they prove that God doesn't exist when God exists? You see, that is something no one cannot do. What people are saying that God doesn't exist, exists. You see, like there's words coming out of people's mouth. Because anybody could say God doesn't exist. Even I could, 
Even I could say that God doesn't exist, but that doesn't make it true. God still exists. You see, because I just have word. And 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 I don't want to insult my little friend, the animals, ladies and gentlemen. But if the animals could have speak English like we or speak the different tongues language, the animals could also say that God doesn't exist. But if any animals say that does God doesn't exist, God still exists. You see, anybody could say that. And if a person say that God doesn't exist, that is not true. God still exists. But are they showing you anybody could say that? Um, yes. But 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 the saying and the proving is two different. You see, no human being cannot prove that God does not exist. Because you see God exists. And let me tap it off. You know, you know even all the angels that God brings into existence, none of them cannot prove any of them cannot prove that God doesn't exist, neither. Like you all in here, whatever you've got some say, let me refresh all your mind by that. In all the angels that God bring, in, bring into existence, each of them individually cannot prove that God doesn't exist. Because you see, God exists. So that only applies to human beings. Ladies and gentlemen, take it from Mary Braxton. That applies to all the angels that God brings into existence. So, so, frankly, if an angel say that God doesn't exist, that angel is only saying that, that is a word. But that angel who is saying that God doesn't exist, he cannot prove that. Because you see, God exists. Now, any man, just like the angels could say that God doesn't exist, and he can't prove that God doesn't exist, when in fact God exists, because the angels are saying that God doesn't exist, that is a word, he could repeat that. I could repeat the same thing too. And just as the angels say that, they, that God doesn't exist, any man or woman could repeat the same thing what the angels say and say, any man could say God doesn't exist. Like all the body atheists and them are saying God doesn't exist, but God still exists. Uh, it's to prove, the ex to prove that God doesn't exist. No one cannot do that. Not even the angels could do that. Not even man can do that. You know why? Because God exists. Am I trying to be funny? That's the facts of the matter, ladies and gentlemen. And so therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I have laid a foundation there. Proven to you that even the angels cannot prove that God doesn't exist. But they could say God doesn't exist. But I just words coming out of their mouth. And even the human feet, human beings could say the same thing like what the angels are saying. What the atheists are saying, that God doesn't exist. On all the atheists saying there, no God, God doesn't exist, God still exists. All the atheists and them who say God doesn't exist, they cannot prove that God doesn't exist. That's the difference. Keep in mind, there's two differences. I hope you all understand it, ladies and gentlemen, as I move forward. Further afield in this teaching. You see, for those in the atheist community, their action is very laughable. Laughable in the context, ladies and gentlemen, that we in Christianity, in the body of Christ, in the church of God, in the household of faith, the true Christians, we know that God exists and that God is real by the creation and his intelligent design prove that he exists. And you know, I was listening to Matt Dal Daltiti, my, my dear brother Matt Dal Dal Dalti from the APA show. And he is saying that if God exists, why he doesn't show himself to the world? Why he, why he doesn't come down from heaven and appear on CNN or, or on, on all the meet, or, on all the, on the, um, the media networks, Fox, CNN, Cable News Network, CBS, CNN, NBS News, and they all the Acham men and the top journalists uh, view, view him and ask him questions. And, and so they will show that that telecast all over the world is showing where the journalists are asking God questions and asking him, well, you, you are, you, well, now you, now you decide to reveal yourself. You have been hiding. 
all them time. And, and man kind of doubts about you. Is that what my daughter did? What God want God to do? God will not do it how He want God to do. God will reveal Himself to mankind when the appropriate time comes. When Jesus Christ returns back to the earth. Right. And all those in the atheist community will not dictate and tell God what to do. They are very <laughs> And all of them in the atheist community. Yes, I'm letting them know that up front. Madan and Dalti, I heard that you said that this God is hiding. If God really exists, he's hiding. And why he's not showing himself to mankind. Madan and Dalti, when I buy my new Bible, I have a Bible, but a lot of pages missing. So when I buy a new Bible again, when I, okay, okay, when I buy my new Bible again, I will look for the text in the scriptures. Let's tell this out and show you, Madan and Dalti, and all those in the atheist experience, where God in fact himself is hiding. He himself said, he himself said he is hiding, he is hiding. He is ready to reveal himself. He, he through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ that came and revealed himself to the world. But the Father did not reveal himself. He remained in heaven and sent Jesus Christ. And there is text in the scriptures where God said he is hiding. But that is used in a certain context. Amat and Andalti, I want you to know, and all those in the atheist experience, God is the best hider. Not even the angels that he created, they can hide as he. And of course, mankind, who is a little of the angels, cannot even hide as the Holy One of Israel. I guess I text in the scriptures where God said he is hiding. But he know what he is talking about, the Holy One of Israel. We might not fully understand that. I might have a little touch of the thing and understand what he mean by hiding. <laughs> well, God said he is hiding. God said he is hiding. He is the best sider. The Holy One of Israel, he is the best sider and adulty and mankind. God, where did my soul? Sorry for the disturbance, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -mm. This happened from now on time, but at least we will try to rectify the, the, uh, that situation. Uh, in the, uh, what do you do, Michael? Michael, what do you do? Okay. Yeah, you see, the screen going blank, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for that, the students, lady gentlemen. My son is fixing the bulb to try to get back the bulb to light. Michael, let's behave no more. Back the bulb now, Michael. But we have light spark, lady gentlemen. Sorry for that, the students. So this happens from, my, from time to time. But at least the situation will go on. It's, we'll try to rectify it. In the shortest possible time. In the shortest possible time, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the lights is on and back running. Add up. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, brothers and sisters. So I want you all to know God is the best side of the Holy One of Israel, of our Creator God. No one can hide as He. And the text in the Bible where God said He's hiding. <laughs> He's the best side. Of not even all the all the angels that God created, none of them, none of them or any of them cannot hide as the Holy One of Israel. And of course mankind cannot hide as the Holy One of Israel. <laughs> and if God is hiding as he said he is hiding, he know what he is hiding for. The purpose why he is hiding. And when the Holy One of Israel decided to reveal himself openly to the whole of mankind, where he will no longer be hiding from mankind. Well, that time will come in the appropriate time. But for now, mm -hmm. for now, we cannot, we cannot do nothing about that, ladies and gentlemen. But I want you all to know that the Holy One of Israel, 
He's the best hider. All the angels that he created, none of them can hide from him. Because none of the all the angels that God created, none of them can hide from him. He, he knows that all of them are the angels. And all mankind cannot hide from the Holy One of Israel. He knows where each and every one of us is. Mm -hmm. But he's the best hider. I want you all to know that. He's the best hider. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. I want you all to know that. So when Matt Donald Dalty and my dear and all my brothers and sisters in the atheist community say that intelligent design is not the proof that God exists. Well, creation is the proof that God exists. And the intelligent design is the proof that God exists. And with all the denying that Matt Daldal Dalti and all those in the atheist community say that God is not exist, they are saying that with a mouth. But they cannot prove. They cannot prove that God is not exist. Because God exists. What they are doing is that they need denying the existence of God. And failing to acknowledge the existence of God by the creation. That's all they're doing. But can they prove that God is not exist? No creature, no creature, no creative being can do that. Not even the angels that God brings into existence can prove that. And even mankind cannot prove that. What the angels could say that God doesn't exist, but I just words coming from the angels' mouth. But the angels are going to prove that God exists. The angels can't do that because God exists. Did you follow it there, Eric? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Sandra, I'll see it on the net. A mankind could say that God doesn't exist. Thy words coming out the mouth. But to prove that God exists, doesn't exist, no man or woman can prove that. Because God exists. Will you now get the message? Understand yeah, yeah, yeah. understand what I'm teaching you all crystal yeah. clear. Keep that in mind. So when the angels say God is not exist, God still exists. The angels can't prove that. Because God exists. And when the man and the woman say that God is not exist, that man or woman can't prove that because God exists. Keep that in mind. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm teaching you all that. And I want you all to be aware of that and conscious of that fact. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, conscious of that fact at all times. Because I, the I man and the me man are the same, is conscious of that fact at all times. I know God exists. And God is real. I want you all to know that. God the Father and Jesus Christ is real as the scriptures, the words of God say, as the historical text, the Holy Scriptures say from Genesis to Revelation. So with all Matt Donald Dalty, the chief apostle of atheism in modern time, in the atheist community, with all the denying, he denying that there is no proof that God exists, God still exists. Despite what Matt Dandal Dalti is saying, Seth Andrew and Iran Ra and all the rest in the atheist community. None of them cannot prove that God doesn't exist. Hold on, I'll get it. They could only deny the existence of God. And that's exactly what they're doing. But to prove that God exists, no angels can do that and no man can do that. Because God exists. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I want you all to understand that. Fully comprehend that and understand that. What I'm teaching you all. Are you all getting something from this? Are you all getting what I'm teaching you all? What I'm leading to you all? I'm teaching you all what the scripture says. <laughs> God is the creator. God is the creator. And everything we see is he created. All the laws of physics and gravity. And you know, Alex O'Connor, Alex O'Connor, 
my my British ATS. I think he's from Ireland, but uh, Ireland or England. My my British British white Amer British my British brother Alex O'Connor, who say he's a ATS, and he's saying that God doesn't exist. Something I was going to say about Alex O'Connor, I'm slip my mind now. It was why, um, but of course he's an atheist. He says does does not um God does not exist. But something I was trying to comment what he said and it slipped my mind. It slipped, it slipped my mind. Uh, what did it, Alex O'Connor said by? Ah, uh, boy. In case when I remember it in the next video, I'll mention it. Um, he said, well, I know he's denying the existence of God, but something he did say, and I don't want to comment on it. Thank you. I could assure you all, when I remember it, I'll make mention of it in the next video. So there's a bit, a little strain on me concerning that on this Alex, Alex O'Connor. Mm. Any case, those in the atheist community, so that's the fact, ladies and gentlemen, I'll make this video at 30 minutes, right? Yeah, so um God exists and God is real. And you know everything that we see, the moon, the stars, the planets, and all the laws of gravity. And yes, I now remember. There's a video out where Alex O'Connor is one of the hosts, one of the speaker in the video. I can't remember the name of the next fella. But in that video, the title of that of that video is um the title of that video where Alex O'Connor is in and the next speaker, the title of that video, ladies and gentlemen, is Science of Berry God. Science of Berry God. Alex O'Connor, you have it wrong, my dear friend, my lone friend. I see that you are Oxford, Oxford University graduate now. But with all that Oxford uni and your PhD, doctor in this doctor and that that you will obtain very soon Alex O'Connor I see that you are heading for your doctorate Alex O'Connor I want you to know and Matt Donald Dalty and Seth Andrew and Aaron Ra and all those in the atheist community science cannot bury God is God is the one who will bury science because God is higher than all science and it is he who bring about the different science the laws of chemistry the laws of biology, the laws of physics, all these laws came into existence by the Creator God. He brings all these things into existence. And He's higher than these things because He created these laws and bring it into existence. Physics, biology, chemistry, the neutron, the neutrons and the mutons and all the, the different tons. Yeah, He brings that. Yeah. He bring all these different laws into existence. The Holy One of Israel, the God of God of creation, and He's higher than everything that He creates. And no science cannot bury the Holy One of Israel, because He's above all science. I want you all to know that. So that video that I have seen with Alex O'Connor and the next speaker, the title of that video is very is very silly in it, yeah. Because that silly title that say of that video where Alex O'Connor is and the next speaker, science are very God. Alex O'Connor, you are wrong. And all those and the next speaker, I can't remember if he, if he, if he was a Christian. But the title of that video is very silly. Science bury God. No science cannot bury God when God is above all science. So you see, that's that video, the title of that video is very silly indeed here. Very silly, very silly and very laughable. Yeah, laughable and very silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I have responded to that video because I have recorded a video to this punk, to this punk, that silly title of that video. I, Eric Braxton, have recorded a video to this bunk, that silly title of the, that video. And I've already, po already posted that video on my social media YouTube account platform, on my channel. And you know what is the title of that video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world? 
throughout the international community, throughout the international landscape. The title of that video, Science Cannot Bury God. Science Cannot Bury God. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. So Alex O'Connor and all of those in the 80s experience have it totally wrong. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, no science cannot bury the Holy One of Israel, God the Father, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a mistake they are making on their part. They are making that silly mistake on their part. And therefore I'm recording these videos from time to time to teach them that fact. To teach them that reality. To teach them that fact, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, and others. And their fans and their base. And the followers and the subscribers who are looking up to them as authority. Mm -hmm. Authority on what? Atheism? <laughs> authority on what? Denying the existence of God? A God? Alex at corner, these not they are not men of authority. Alex O'Connor might be a man of authority that if he's running a grocery store or a bank and he's a manager, he has authority over his workers in that sense, yes. Yes, in that sense, yes. Men of authority in that sense, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, in that sense, yeah. If it's in that sense, all you're talking about, yes, yeah, fine. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> So that's the facts of the matter. All of them in atheism cannot run away from the fact that God exists and they cannot deny the, the creation of God. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, no man cannot run away from the creation of God because the creation of God is all around us. When we look up, we see the moon, we see the stars, we see the sun. All these things God creates, they can deny it how, how much they want. God created these things. We see the fishes, the animals, the earth. God creates all these things. They can deny it how much they want. They can't run away from it. That's the creation of God. And plus man is the creation of God too. Mm -hmm. Are there ladies and gentlemen? Hmm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, no one cannot prove that God is not just eh? But people could but people could deny the existence of God. But to prove that God exists, the, but to prove that God doesn't exist, no angels can do that and no man can do that. Keep that in mind. I don't want to end that video because I want to emphasize that point very deeply. So once again, as I bring the curtain down on this video, I have many things to say but in that next video concerning this. So this will be an addition to what I say in here. So, brothers and sisters, as I bring the curtain down this year, as I close up shop on this video, as I say, all the angels that God bring into existence, any of them, none of them, or how I should put it, any of them, cannot deny the existence of God. I mean, cannot prove that God exists. All the angels that God brings into existence, individually, each angel, none of them cannot prove, or any of them cannot prove, that God doesn't exist. But of course, an angel could say that God doesn't exist. But the angels, they just talky-talking. But for that angel to prove that God doesn't exist, that angels can do that. And that applies to all the angels God bring into existence across the board. So none of them is exempt from that. I hope I make myself crystally clear. Now let us come to mankind. Where God created Adam and Eve and the human family. Every man that any man that born and come in this world, no man or woman that born or come in this world cannot prove that God doesn't exist. Because God exists. 
But of course, people could say that God does not exist. But I guess words coming out of the mouth. But for that man and that woman to prove that God exists, but that but for that man and woman to prove now that God doesn't exist, he can't do that because God exists. The angels could only deny the existence of God, but the angels cannot prove, cannot prove that God doesn't exist because God exists. Mankind could, man and woman, like the atheists and all the atheists who live and die and the current atheists who are alive people, they could only deny the existence, of, they could only deny the existence of God by saying God doesn't exist. But with all those in the atheist community and all these people who is atheists, each of them individually cannot prove that God doesn't exist because God exists. All you now get it, good? Keep that in all your heart, mind, and soul, and do it steady. Because you see, God exists. And no angels cannot prove that God doesn't exist. But the angels could deny the existence of God. And no man or woman cannot prove that God doesn't exist. But the man and woman could deny the existence of God. You see, the man and the woman only talking that talk by saying God doesn't exist. The angels will just be talking that talk that God doesn't exist. But the angels cannot prove that God doesn't exist. And the man and the woman who talking that talk saying God doesn't exist. Both of them cannot prove that God doesn't exist. Because God exists and God exists. Keep that in mind. Crystally clear, ladies and gentlemen. All you know understand it? All you know understand it? Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm teaching you all in this video. What? All right, now, Sandra. Right? You talk about that. So that's the reality, ladies and gentlemen. That's the whole. That's the whole. That's the hardcore facts. That's the hardcore facts, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not trying to be funny, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not beating around the bush. I'm not taking any one of you out there for any fools. I'm speaking to you all and letting you all know the facts and to understand these facts that I'm presenting to you all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the nations of the earth who will see this video on the internet and the world wide web. I'm speaking to you all. I'm dressing you all from my home base from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean in the West Indies. Right? And I'm letting you all know that. Well, if you all have doubts and my detractors or those who oppose Eric Braxton and say that I'm not what I'm saying is false and what I'm not what I'm teaching you all is not the truth. Well that person who is saying Eric Braxton is not speaking the truth. He or she saying Eric Braxton is not speaking the truth. And therefore if they say he or she that say Eric Braxton is not speaking the truth to you all, therefore they then he or she will be saying that I'm lying to you all. But that man but that man or that woman or that boy or that girl, best of all you all are part of the world, who saying I'm lying to the people and I'm teaching the people the wrong thing. Therefore, you have the right thing, since you are saying I am have to have the wrong thing, or I'm teaching the people the wrong thing. I am teaching the people that there's that no one cannot prove that God doesn't exist. I am teaching the people that no one cannot prove that God that that God does not exist. And that applies to the angels and that applies to man. So no angels cannot prove that God doesn't exist. And no man cannot prove that God doesn't exist. You all say that is not true, but bring that angels forward. And bring that man forward. Put that angels in the front of Eric Braxton and put that man in the front of me. Let me hear what that angels have to say and let me hear what that man will have to say. I am standing carefully, attentively. And I want to hear what the angels have to say and what that man or woman have to say. That is an analogy, but it's the principle I come with you all, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the angels come forward because God created them, right? Right. Hear what the angels are saying. 
the angels are saying there is no God and the God doesn't exist. That God is the angels saying that there is no God and God doesn't exist. I hear what the angels say, but I do accept what the angels say because I know that God exists. Okay, you stand aside, Mister Angels. Okay, the man have come forward. Hear what the man and the woman is saying. That's as the angels. The man and the woman saying there is no God. That God doesn't exist. I have listened what the man have to say. I have listened what the woman saying. Both of them say there is no God and God doesn't exist. They haven't proved that. They have talked that. Now that's words come out of their mouth. That's as words come out of the angel's mouth. The angels haven't proved that God doesn't exist. And both the man and the woman did not prove that God doesn't exist. God still exists. To the angels, and God still exists. To the man and woman. Because God is eternal. Eternal existing. And God has no end and has no beginning. Mm -hmm. What the angel is doing is just denying the existence of God. And what the woman and the man is doing is just denying the existence of God. But both the angels and the man and woman haven't proved that God doesn't exist. Are you all, all, all you know, get it more clearly now? Thank you all ladies and gentlemen. And that's what I'm teaching you all ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm teaching you all ladies and gentlemen, boys, boys and girls all over the world. Now this video I said I made it 30 minutes, but since this is an important topic that I have to teach you all, I, I went a little extra miles to highlight the points for more. So you all know exactly what I'm teaching you all and understand it. Thank you all ladies and gentlemen. Well boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, as I bring the curtain down this video, I hope that you understand what I've taught you all in this video. Keep in mind, this is not the end of this topic. In the next video, they will have a, they will have a continuation of this video, an addition in another video to come. So look out, these, look out for these videos from time to time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world. I want you all to know, ladies and gentlemen, that our Creator God, the Holy One of Israel, God the Father and Jesus Christ, He is the Eternal One. He is the Eternal God. And he has no beginning and he has no end. He was, he was always in existence and he will continue to be in existence because no one cannot destroy God. Because no one cannot destroy God and no one did not created God. So that's why no one cannot destroy God. And God is not a created being. God is an uncreated being. Uh, and that's why no one cannot destroy God. Because God is a, not a created being. He's an uncreated being. He has no beginning and he has no end. He's eternal existence. He's eternal one. He's always in existence. Both Christ and the Father. I want this is the teaching of the scriptures. From Genesis to Revelation. So keep that in mind ladies and gentlemen. It's very important that you all know. Understand that too. So by understanding that. You will all know, you will all will know now that no one cannot prove that God does not exist because you see God is eternal and everlasting. You all understand it now? You all now understand it? Thank you all ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all ladies and gentlemen. You see? You see? You see? All you now understand it now? Right. Because when the angels were saying God does not exist, you see, God is eternal. So when that angel is saying God is not exist, God still exists. Because God is eternal and everlasting. Uh, and no one did not create God. God is an uncreated being. So when the man and the woman, like all those in the atheists, Madden and Dalti and all of them saying that God is not exist. You see, God always exists. Because before he created the human family, he always exists. Because he's eternal and everlasting God. You see? This is what I'm trying to show you. He's an uncreated being. He always existed. He's eternal and everlasting. No one did not create God. God has no beginning and has no end. You see? You see? Ladies and gentlemen, you see? You see? But you see the angels who say in God is not. But you see the angels who say that God doesn't exist? He was created. 
by the said God. And the man and woman who say that God doesn't exist, denying the existence of God, that is the same God who created the man and the woman. Ah, keep that in mind. Very important. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Both of them cannot deny. Both of them cannot prove that God doesn't exist. Yes, that the angels are not man and woman. Both of them cannot prove that God doesn't exist. The angels are denying that God doesn't exist. He not given no proof. Because he have no proof. And the man and the woman who saying that God doesn't exist, they only saying that they have no proof. Because that is something both of them can't prove. And the angels can't prove that neither. Because the angels was created by God. And the man and the woman was created by God. Understand that. Thank you all ladies and gentlemen. That's the facts of the matter. Thank you all ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all ladies and gentlemen for understanding that. What people are doing is only denying the existence of God. That's all they're doing. But they cannot prove that God is not exist. No one cannot prove that. No angels can prove that and no man can prove that. Thank you all ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all ladies and gentlemen for understanding that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Amen to me, amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next. Shalom, peace. See, bye you, all bye in bye. see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, my friends.